Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the domain and range of functions of a real variable. Let's be given a function f, which maps the real numbers into the real numbers. We say that the domain of f is all real numbers for which f is well-defined. So at the start of these problems, we say that f is a function of a real variable, but our first task is to make sure we understand the subset of the real numbers where the function is defined, and that is the domain of the function. So oftentimes we'll write f going from r to r, when really we, we formally mean f goes from the domain of f into the range of f. Then we consider the set, consider the set of all points f of x, such that x comes from, or if we use a symbol for in, right, this means in in our, in our language or mathematical language, the domain of f. So all the possible outputs, this is all possible outputs, and this is called the range of f. Okay, so let's see an example of computing the range of f and the domain of f. So for example, we could look at a function like this. I'm going to look at f of x, which is the square root of 4x minus 8. Now we recall that we can only plug in numbers to a square root which are either 0 themselves, 0 itself, or a positive number. So I need to find the domain of this, the domain of this function f, domain of f, what do we need? It's all the possible values x such that 4x minus 8 is greater than or equal to 0. So if we solve this inequality over here, this becomes, it's the set of x and r such that 4x is bigger than or equal to 8. And that's exactly the same as the set of x such that x is bigger than or equal to 2, which we can write interval notation. All numbers that are bigger than or equal to 2 in interval notation is the interval of the closed bracket 2 up to positive infinity, open at positive infinity. So this, of course, is interval notation, which we'll use throughout the course. Interval notation. Okay. Good. And now to find the range, we want to find all the possible output values. So what are the possible output values? Well, for this particular function, we know that the square root outputs only things that are non-negative. So the range of this function f, so range of f, will be, well, in particular, if I plug in x equals 2, for example, if we just plug in f equals x equals 2, we'll get the square root of 4 times 2 minus 8, which is 0, so I can clearly get to 0, and I can also I can get any number I wish by plugging in the right value for x over here. So the range of f starts at 0 and goes all the way up to positive infinity. There we go. So we have the domain and range of this function. So if we were to really be completely formal about this, we would say for this function, this function over here, f, this function f is a map from what? Is a map from the closed interval 2 to positive infinity. That's my actual domain into the range of this codomain over here, 0 to infinity. So as opposed to writing going from r to r, we can be more specific and more, more precise about where the function is taking its input values and where it's taking its output values. So that's the domain and range of this function. Let's do another example. Here's the next example. Okay. So let's consider f of x is equal to, let's just do 1 over x minus 1. Okay. So a relatively simple function. Now we recall that there's a restriction, just like there's a restriction for square roots, there's a restriction for denominators. We can never have a zero in the denominator, right? So no zeros in the denominator. Implies that I can't have a zero in the denominator, so x cannot be equal to 1. Implies that x is not equal to 1. And of course, if that's the only restriction, that x can't be 1, I can write this in interval notation the following way. I can say it's everything from negative infinity up to 1. I exclude 1 with an open bracket, and then I start, this means or, this union symbol means or, 1 to positive infinity. So I go from negative infinity, we draw that on, on a number line over here. I go from negative infinity all the way up to what? So all the way up to 1. I exclude 1, and then I go from 1 all the way to infinity. So this point 1 is excluded from my domain. So my domain is every real number except for the number 
x equals 1. So that's our domain over here. So this is our domain of f. That's the domain of this function, domain of f. Now to find the range, I claim that the range can be anything, but there's one thing that the range can't be. The one thing that we can't be in the range is we cannot find a value for which I get the 0. So my question is, is can we find a value of x such that this is equal to 0? Well, if I was to try to solve this equation over here, what would happen? I would cross multiply by x minus 1, and I would conclude what? I would conclude that 1 is equal to 0, which is what? 1 equals 0 is impossible. So this equation over here, the circled equation, the example of an equation has no solution. So in other words, there's no value of x that can plug into this function that will output 0. So 0 is not in the what? It is not in the range. But if y is not equal to 0, if y is a point that's not equal to 0, any point y which is not equal to 0, then 1 over x minus 1 equals y has a solution. What will that solution be? It will be 1 is equal to, I'll cross multiply and get an x times y, and then a minus y. So solving this equation, what we'll have over here is we'll have 1 plus y is equal to xy, and since y is not equal to 0, I can divide by it and can conclude that the value of x that I need to choose is going to be 1 plus y over y. So if I plug in this value of x into our function, what will we get? Let's test it out and see just to make sure it works. So if I look at what? If I look at f of 1 plus y over y, that will be 1 over, um, well, this will be a 1 over y plus 1, because y over y is 1, and then minus 1. So the 1s are going to cancel, and you're going to have 1 over 1 over y, which is just equal to y. So if I plug this value into my function, I will output this value y over here. That tells me that the range of this function, so the range of this function f, the range of f is negative infinity up to 0. You exclude 0 and you go from 0 to positive infinity. So the range of this function is every real number but 0, and the domain of this function is every real number except for 1. Thank you very much.